Hello, my friends. Okay, so you guys want to know about my paladin build. Okay, I'll share it with you. So this build is <laughs> based about <laughs> based around one skill and kind of one one thought. Just basically not really doing much at all. So the skill it's based around is lightning orb, which summons a few lightning orbs. But the actual effect of the skill is really not. Um, important the thing is the the most important part of this skill is that it has a 0.5 seconds cooldown and a very fast cast time okay so let's go into the talents where this where we can actually explain how this works so first of all we go for divine thunder here which deveals which deveals deals divine thunder on a target after landing an active skill on them so we have an active skill that has a 0.5 second cooldown. This uh, passive itself has a five second cooldown. So yeah, it's not gonna all, it's not gonna proc with every 0.5 second uh, cast that we use, but it uh, it's very useful. So we go for that first. And these other ones, Chasing Lightning. Uh, I'm not sure about Chasing Lightning yet. I really need to play around with that a bit more. I may actually like, okay, let's kind of turn the wheel here for a second. So I went to the left here. Because this is kind of, I'm using this kind of as a support and DPS build. But you see here, I turned to the left. I, Static Thunder is definitely, definitely a, a must. I think you should also take Static Thunder on this. But you don't have to go uh, further than uh, further than that because Holy Healing is pretty much support. It heals you and your and your allies. Uh, if you find yourself ne needing healing yourself, yeah, of course, go ahead and take that. But um, you might want to actually go for chasing lightning instead if you feel like holy healing is not necessary. Um, same for energy guardian back here. This basically does the same thing, but for energy, increases your energy regen and your allies energy regen. That's not absolutely necessary. If you want to go like full DPS, you could skip that. Okay. So anyway, we go for lightning realm, lightning realm. Even though it sounds kind of, eh, it's actually really good. It does a lot of damage, and the fact, uh, the thing is with Lightning Realm, it's not the fact that it does a lot of damage. It also, it also triggers other passives because this is also, you know, doing damage. It's considered a skill, I think, and it triggers like a lot of other stuff. So you have a another thing going on around you that follows you around basically an aura damage aura that uh, triggers other things going on so that furthers our little thing about just running around and not actually having to hit anything so then we go extra damage extra damage extra damage into the magic resist aura again this is a support thing that is not necessary to this build but the fatal aura I think is kind of necessary um, I might change this up as well later, but yeah, 5% crit rate every time you cast an active skill. Um, I don't think it stacks, but I'm not 100% sure. It's an aura, it says, so like, I don't I don't know how it works. I think it, I think it stays permanent, like 5% crit aura after you use a skill. So yeah, pretty simple there. And then we just go down here for the extra damage, extra damage, a little bit of hit rate. We skip the high frequency master, which I'm uh, I'm not sure. I might actually take that up when, when I show you the results of of the this uh, build. And you might think you might understand why. Like I don't think uh, we really need that much more damage because it's just like this build's ridiculous. Okay, so we definitely need realm knight because. We do take a huge, we get a huge damage amplification using this, and uh, we're using Land of Meditation and uh, Holy Will. Those are two two of the abilities that I'm using with this build. Two percent hit rate. We go the extra damage route and also uncover Thunder Blast, which gives a fourteen percent, fourteen point six percent damage with a pretty short cooldown as well to the enemy. And again, like this is beta, so this may all change in the future. But um, yeah, let me just show you how, how this wrecks right now. Let's just 
let's just go to the highest, the next highest uh, ranking World Abyss level that we have here. Let's see. All right, so the idea behind this is basically not stopping moving as much as possible. Obviously, I have some legendary items and stuff that also play into this, but I don't think they're absolutely necessary to the way this build works. I think pretty much all legendary items will um, tie into this pretty well. Oh my god, this is a terrible map. Where are all the mobs? But as you can see, I'm only using these lightning orbs. But the fact that I'm using them is triggering all this other stuff that triggers off um, just the fact of that I'm using a skill. <laughs> like, you, all you have to do is use a skill. And that's that's the other thing. Like, if you have a, a skill that has a very short cooldown, you're just going to be triggering all those passives and all those other effects much more because you're using a skill even more often. So, yeah, I did for a couple bosses, like, for a obvious bosses or big named mobs that have a lot of HP, I will actually pop some other abilities and stuff. But for the most part, yeah, I just kind of run around and do this and it blows stuff up. Man, this is a terrible map. Oh my God. So I went into like a really, really deep, deep dead end, which is not good, but we're still like way ahead of the timer and it's we should be able to hit the timer in the next uh, minute or so. We'll head towards the gate here. Or the next level as well. Now, I mean, you don't have to only be pressing this ability. You can press the other abilities. But the point is, you don't need to press other abilities. You're pressing other abilities just because... You have other abilities to press, but you don't need to press them. And then the boss shows up and you just kind of spam. Spam your orbs. And uh, of course on the boss you actually do want to be using your other abilities. But yeah, there's a, an example of how this, abil this build works. It's just based off of one ability right here. Which you can stack up a lot. And it triggers a lot of other effects along with it. Let's see if I got the fastest clear time. Yeah, I got the fight. See, when it says MVP on this, that means you got the fastest clear time. GG's. And yeah, that's my Paladin build that I recommend you use up until level 60 for the fastest, easiest leveling experience. Please subscribe to the channel if uh, this helped you. Please let me know in the comments if you think there's like better revisions or if you have a better build, please share it in the comments. I'd like to see it. So yeah, peace out guys. We'll see you next time and GG's.